Hello everybody, so today let's talk about what Biden decided to do, which is to follow in the footsteps of President Trump and declare that Venezuela's opposition party leader, Juan Guaido, is the leader of Venezuela, as opposed to the democratically elected Maduro. All my sources are in the description box below if this is YouTube, if this is television, well, sorry about that. I'm not here to talk about Venezuelan politics, simply democracy, and that is it. So here's the story according to Reuters, quote, U.S. President-elect Joe Biden's administration will continue to recognize Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido as the South American country's president. Anthony Blinken, which I believe that's how you say his name, Anthony Blinken, Biden's nominee for Secretary of State said on Tuesday, also they're going to more effectively target sanctions. First things first, why does the United States hate Maduro? Well, that's because they have a nationalized oil system which makes it harder for the US to get to the oil. However, in addition to that, the conspiracy is that there's rigged elections. Now, the question that I have is how do you dictate whether something is rigged or not? First of all, Guaido told his followers not even to participate in the election. So let's just, let's just say that right off the bat. Now, normally the United Nations would oversee elections that could potentially be corrupt. Well, Maduro asked the United Nations to oversee their elections and the United, blah, 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 excuse me, getting ahead of myself here. United Nations, they decided not to show up. So you have to wonder if it's in a rigged election, then why did the United Nations not show up unless the US pressured them not to show up because it might've actually been a legitimate election and they might've been able to prove it. I'm not gonna put my tinfoil hat on here. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but food for thought here. Now, as a result of the sanctions, well, at least according to the economic and policy research, 40,000 Venezuelans have died as a result of that. And also the average Venezuelan lost 24 pounds. However, the Brookings Institute said that no people were dying before the sanctions, so it's not as a result of the sanctions. Well, my philosophy is that if oil is one of their biggest exports and you sanction the oil, which then affects the people, it plays some part in it, right? Anyway, that is the news. Make of it what you will. Thank you.